Hi guys, I just watched the video posted by my friend where he asked ChatGPT to automate login page with Cypress. And I decided to run similar experiment for Java and for Python. So I already recorded the video for Java uh, where ChatGPT gave me pretty good answer, a good code example how to automate login test with Java. And now I wanted to try the same with Python. So I did it already, I tried it. And let me switch to chat GPT. What I found was, so the first time when I asked write login test method for this web page using Selenium, Java and TestNG, chat GPT give, gave me good code however um oh hold on this is java Let's, let me scroll on here this um write login test method for this page using selenium python and pytest um, the code was okay but this method is no longer available so this is method that was available in the older Selenium versions. So when I tried this code, it obviously didn't work. But I then asked write login test method for this page using Selenium version 4. And now it actually gives the correct command, find element. So let me copy this code go to PyCharm, here let me create new Python file called login test, paste the code here. And there are a few things that I need to do. First of all, I have the Python VNV with the latest Selenium version, which no longer requires to set driver path for Chrome. Um, it basically includes web driver manager in the Selenium library itself. So it will download the correct driver for my Chrome version. And the only things I needed to change here was the ID. Uh, so find element by ID user login. There's no such ID on this page. So I had to change this. So let me actually do this. Do this. So username and password. Now the actual username for this page is student and the password is uppercase password123 and the login button ID is submit. Now, uh, since I'm recording this on the secondary monitor, when I start test, it will open browser on my first monitor. So let me ask uh, chat, oh, well, anyway. Uh, don't bother. I'll just move uh, the browser myself. Uh, let me actually copy the logged in successfully page URL because here the expected page is not correct. So there are a few things I needed to change in this code, but I didn't change any steps. Only uh, I changed ID in three places. I uh, added actual um, correct username and correct password. I updated expected URL. And now let me change, let me run this test. So here's the browser. And you see test passed. So basically, when you ask the correct question, like in my case, uh, example of automating positive login test using Selenium version four, the code chat GPT gave me was pretty good code. Few, few minor changes, but test actually worked. So, um, well, now if you are manual QA engineer and your management asks you to automate simple test, you don't even know, you don't even need to learn test automation. You can just ask chat GPT. Yeah, so this thing gonna, drive me out of my job soon so i need to <laughs> i need to think about my future guys uh, but yeah so this is fun actually i really liked it and by the way if you want to actually learn how to automate tests with 
Python and PyTest or with Java and Selenium and uh, TestNG, uh, check out my courses uh, on Udemy. So let me let me search myself. Dmitry Shishkin Udemy. And if you go to Udemy, go to my page, you can see that uh, I'm actually instructor partner on Udemy. I have eight courses. And if you are beginners, uh, beginner test automation engineer, or if you are manual test automation engineer, I would recommend uh, taking my Selenium WebDriver with Java for beginners or Selenium WebDriver automation testing with Python. This is also a course for beginners to learn how to automate tests um, using Java or using Python. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, it was fun playing with artificial intelligence and it's, it's pretty good. <laughs>